So we've got quite a bit of a wiring mess in here at the moment. Um, there's just junk going everywhere, but it all works, which is great. So it's just taking a long, long time to get over. Um, we've managed to get the um, the steering wheel all, all wired in with the ECU, and each button does something, so which is really great. So I was I didn't even know how we would achieve that, but um, lots of lots of YouTube and forum searching and stuff and learning and, and lots of work with the multimeter. So um, you just got all the regular stuff on this side for radio controls and answer the phone and stuff. That'll all be done through the head unit. Um, they've got a two, they've got key one and key two basically pinouts and you just send that to the um, to the radio and then you can pin it, you can allocate each button to what you want them to do. But they do have a joined ground and I think they have a joined, uh, uh, sorry, a joined power as well for the lights, but I haven't got that far yet. Um, but everything works and it's all seen on the ECU, which is really great. So what we've done on this side is we've got obviously paddles, which is pretty cool to have. Um, the cruise controller works. That's all like, it all works. And that's, I think we've just gone straight past the Toyota one and we just wired that straight into the ECU just so that it's easy to control with the, you know, um, the throttle body and stuff like that. It hasn't have got another step. So we've got, um, launch control basically on and off. So if you want to rip skids or whatever, you can just press that and then turn it off again. Um, and then we've got boost up, boost down, and then traction left and traction right, so up percentage up and down. Um, these ones are configurable as well, and then I'm probably going to use this button because it, it's really nice to hold on to as the rolling anti-lag, so that'll be pretty cool. Um, but it'd be pretty cool to set it up so that you had like a preset for like, you know, hold this temperature, hold, hold this speed, and then give, you know, five pounds of anti-lag or whatever. Um, that'd be pretty cool for all racing, so... Because yeah, when it hits, it's uh, it it's like ridiculous. So I've been in a car with it, and it was pretty crazy. Uh, I've got another switch going down here, a rotary dial, and then that's probably going to be for the um, the the aggressiveness of the pedal. So you can make it so it's really doughy um, for like valley mode, or for someone else driving the car that has not been in a 800 or 900 horsepower car. So you can basically turn that down on a switch. Uh, so that'll be good for. Uh, people to learn how to drive the car and obviously me too because I'm uh it's quite a step up for me so um this is the box for the um the TCU so this displays a digital readout which I could sort of show you at the moment but I can't um it's got like indicates what gear you're in boost level um temperature and stuff like that so it's kind of cool it gives you like the basically the bare essentials in your speed so it's pretty cool to be able to like adjust that stuff on the fly um and it's actually a really nice looking gauge too i'm probably going to put it in there i sort of don't really know where it's going to go without blocking something or being in the way um and then i've got another gauge going in here for a seven inch screen that's a flip up thing and then another one going in there so yeah it's sort of a bit a lot of uh a lot of screens going on in the car but you can never have enough gauges when you're trying to monitor something or fix something so that'd be good to log all that data. Um, I've got to fiddle with these buttons. Figure out which ones I'm going to use for what. We'll probably set one of these up for like the, the tank. So we can turn the tank on and off for the additional pump. And yeah, so shifter's in. Sitting a little bit low. Um, sort of a bit lower than I thought it was going to sit. Might need to raise it up a little bit, which we can do that. But it, it's like a really good unit to come out of a SLK 230 or an R170 um, and looks nice because it's got like carbon fiber but it's unfortunately this one's cracked but uh, it, it's really springy and it's in really good condition so um, go to like and it's like even easy to put it straight into reverse and then neutral and then drive and that's all it's going to really need to do because you'll be driving the rest of the pedals if you want to be you know not in D mode or whatever you probably won't be using much of that um, but yeah, just leave it in, leave it in D and then off you go. So it's certainly coming together. Uh, I've got a bit more work to do tidying up wise. Um, but the covers are about to go back on, which is great. And everything sort of works on the ECU, which is nice. So we're not too far off fluids and starting.